Hello, you're watching New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Roy Thina Sedin. These are the stories making headlines across the country. From Arua district, Nusra Tupero, the ANRM flag bearer in the recent Arua municipality by election, has gone to court seeking nullification of the election results and fresh elections conducted. Tiberu, who was the runner-up in the Grace Ghana, 4,798 votes against Wadiri, 6,521 votes out of 16,476 total number of votes cast. A total of 12 candidates competed in the race. Tiberu is a two-time legislator in the East African Legislative Assembly and an aspirant in Koboko North constituency in 2016 elections and were nominated to compete for the Arua municipality by election seat. Now, uh, Tiperu, she was also the woman member of parliament for Yumbe district from and also the female youth member of parliament. Tiperu filed the petition at High Court Arua through her lawyer Birunji Barata Associate together with the Bunga and company advocates. New Vision has also seen a copy of the petition bearing the seal of High Court Arua. In the petition, Tiperu sued both Wadiri and the Electoral Commission. She argued that Kasiano Wadiri engaged in acts of violence and intimidation against her supporters. She also alleged that Wadiri and Electoral Commission violated the provision of Parliamentary Elections Act by conducting, while conducting the election. When contacted, Tiperu confirmed to the new vision on Wednesday, having filed the petition. Let us stay in Arua. A woman identified as Grace Idrisiru, a resident of Kaniya village in Bura Parish in Omogo subcounty in Arua district on Saturday gave birth to four babies. Drisiru told New Vision on Wednesday that she gave birth to the four babies in a normal delivery from a healthy facility in Omogo refugee settlement on Saturday and was referred to Arua Regional Referral Hospital on Sunday. On reaching Arua Hospital, Dr. Chiru lost one of the babies who died after arrival at the hospital and is now left with triplets. She is married to Makario Asega, who are both peas and farmers. Currently, she lacks enough milk to breastfeed the triplets because there is not enough food for the mother that can manufacture enough breast milk for the babies. She's now looking for support from the public since her living conditions at home are unsuitable for her babies. Drichiru and her husband live in a grass thatched house with a, with a worn out roof and whenever it rains, the house leaks. Now let us look at some of the stories making headlines in today's copy of The New Vision. Let us continue looking at more stories making headlines across the country. From Barra District, Barra Region Referral Hospital, under the Department of Gynecology, on Wednesday commissioned a fistula award that was constructed with support from Medicine of Humanity, a non-government organization from USA, California. This was put up in a bid to create more space for fistula patients who have not been, a who have not been having a ward. Dr. Musa Kayondo, the head and the head of gynecology department, mentioned that initially the old ward was accommodating only six beds, which could not match with the fistula patients in floor. This has been constructed within ten months in a sum of three hundred million shillings, which was a donation from Medicine for Humanity in California. Kayondo noted that fistula is a hard condition. Uh, among mothers who leak urine and stool and sometimes in a more unfortunate situation some do both which comes as a result of difficulty in delivery especially those who attempt to deliver unattended to by a healthy worker. She's
He says that some in the process get ruptured pelvics. Kayonda revealed that according to the Uganda Demographic and Healthy Survey, the national prevalence of obstetric and fistula patients stands at 2% of 200,000 women get a fistula every year. Finally, from Jinja District, Zamba Soga have petitioned the Kingdom Premier, Dr. Joseph Muvawala, and the Speaker, George Mutiabule, to explain why the Chabazinga has not occupied his official palace. The petitioners, led by Abubeka Kakare, have accused Muvawala and Mutiabule for keeping the Chabazinga in Kampala, yet he has a palace in Busoga. The palace was constructed by the central government and completed two years ago. According to Kakaire, the premier and the speaker promised that William Gabler IV would occupy the palace by December last year, but, has not, but that has not happened. He argued that at the end of their, Muvawal allegedly postponed the king estate of relocating to the palace of August 25th to August 25th this year, a promise they say has still not yet been fulfilled. Attempts by the group to see the premier and the speaker over the matter had not yielded results as their offices allegedly remain closed all the time. In the August 27th petition, Kakaira alleges that Mavala and Mutiavli's offices at the Kingdom headquarters were not functioning because they are always in Kampala. Kakaira, who was flanked by Stephen Moede and Yusuf Balikowa, said it was crucial for the Chabazinga to stay in his kingdom. He added that even the fruit trees which were planted by Martin Chilube at the palace were eaten by cows and goats. He alleged that the palace grounds were being used for grazing. And that's all we had for you from me, Roy Fina Seje, and the New Vision TV team. Remember, you can get more news updates and other stories on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also visit us on our social media platforms. Facebook is the New Vision, Twitter is at New Vision Wire. You can follow me on my Twitter handle, which is Rothy the Voice.